Hello friends, and how's it going? My name is Panda, and as you all know, I have recently acquired a new microphone, which is fantastic by the way, I am loving the shit out of it. So I've turned up the sensitivity on my microphone, and I have it right next to my face. So what we're going to do is test this microphone out, and I've decided that I'm going to do the world's quietest Five Nights at Freddy Let's Play. Now, I know what you're thinking. Panda, Markiplier's already done this. Yeah, but Markiplier did playing Happy Wheels. And this game is not Happy Wheels. In this game, whenever anyone plays it, they scream like little girls. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in to Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Help Wanted. Grand reopening. Vintage pizzeria given new life. We are now getting paid less. This is bullshit. Fuck me in the butthole. Alright. We're gonna get a call from the phone guy. And it's going to be amazing. Hello phone guy. You don't make it in the first game. I am from the future. My name is Sarah Connor. You must save my son, John Connor, from from the Terminator. Excellent. Fantastic. Why would they have that? I wonder. Was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Fazbear Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, Didn't they now? Facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database, so they can oh, mangle a mile away. You bitch. Hey, being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. I wonder uh, why. We switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night, and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our no, engineers not. don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, Switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. <clears throat> uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about robots saying you was an endoskeleton without a costume on and wanting to stuff you into a suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Fantastic. Oh, Put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Awesome. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quartz modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the flashlight. Fantastic. Going well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the light. Golden Freddy. If you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up, piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank God. That guy prattles on for so long in this game. Oh, fuck. You, Bonnie. Hello there, friend. I see you've decided to get up close and personal with my camera. I'm sure you have a wonderful career in the adult entertainment industry. Because of your love for the camera. I hope you will get fucked. 
by a giant dildo. Fuck you and your fucking beak. Oh. Fuck you already. Fuck you in your butthole. Please go away. I see you've decided to phase in front of my face and say hello. The music box. What a pain. Something is going to get me. I can feel it in my butt. My butt cheek tingles when there is an animatronic nearby, in case you did not know. It is part of my fuck you, Freddy Fazbear. It is part of my panda training. Oh, fuck you. Do I just put the put the the, the chiku chiku? Do I put this? Will you go away now, please? Thank you. Your cooperation will be greatly appreciated. She wants to get me a cupcake. She wants to ram it down my cake hole until I suffocate and die. I did not even look at what time it is. It is 4 a.m. and we are mostly fine. Chiku will not go away. She is firmly in my hallway. But that is okay. I will simply put on the mask. Someone is coming. It is Freddy Fuckface. Hello Freddy. You are a fuckface. Please do not jump scare me. Oh fuck. I'm going to just stay in here. Hello, Bonnie. You are gone. This is excellent. We are going to wind the music box a little. Excellent. There's nothing in my vents. I will not worry. I am calm. I am peaceful. There is nothing that can disturb my zen. Fuck everything. My heart may be going a million miles a minute, but I have a face like a stone. There is a chica going into the vent. But that will not stop me from winning this night. It is 5 a.m. Victory is assured. <clears throat> yeah, well. We have made it until 6 a.m. I think that's all I'm going to do for this. I'll probably come back to this game a different day. But that is all I wanted to do, to try and test out my microphone, to do my, my quietest let's play of Five Nights at Freddy's. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!